to how to solve missing media files. Right here we have one of our online student sets and we're going to use it as an example. If you look all the way on the bottom you'll see this orange tab that says media files are missing. What you're going to want to do is double click this tab and it'll open up this menu right here on the right. In this tab menu you'll see all the files that you are missing in your set. I see that my loop waymaker file is missing. When I go ahead and double click on the audio file, down below it says sample offline. What we want to do is let able to know where to find this file. So we're going to go ahead on set folder, click it, it's going to appear your finder. We're going to go to our set, whether it's on your desktop, external hard drive, or Dropbox. We're going to click the whole folder set and hit open. Then we're going to come up top to where it says go and click it. It's going to scan the whole folder. If your audio file does not come back, it means there's something else wrong. We want to make sure that it didn't get accidentally deleted, so we're going to go to our trash bin. And I can see it right here, our WaveMaker loop file. So I'm going to go ahead, hit Command Copy. I'm going to go to my Set folder. I'm going to click it. I'm going to click Samples. I'm going to click Process, Consolidate. And I'm going to paste the file with the other WaveMaker files. Once it finishes loading, I'm going to click my Ableton session. And then you're going to see the file loading up right now. Now what happens when we can't find it in our trash bin? Here's another way that you can solve this Ableton issue. We're going to go ahead and find our Waymaker file loop in our Dropbox. I'm going to go over to the arrow right here, click it, it's going to open up the menu. I'm going to go to my Dropbox folder in Ableton, and I'm going to go all the way to Waymaker. Once I find Waymaker, I want to make sure I'm grabbing the right arrangement, so I'm going to go ahead and click the album version, and I'm going to get the right key that we're in. Instead of dragging over the ALS file, I'm going to go ahead and hit this arrow, and it's going to drop down, and I want the loop file. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the arrow for loop, and then I'm going to drag over this file right here into our loop section. What it's going to do is that it's going to replace the original file with that new file. Once you drag and drop everything, go on the top left, hit File, and then hit Collect All Save. This will make sure that all your files are collected and saved in the Ableton session. Once all that is done, that's how you solve missing media files.